it certainly became apparent um, when we all came out of the lockdowns just how badly uh, men were affected by the level of isolation that they felt. Um, I know certainly even with myself and with a lot of friends that I've got um, and even people that I met in the uh, the dating community, their confidence had a bit of a reset and they were essentially kind of back at square one again and uh, a lot of people really struggled to get back to where they were even after a couple of years uh, going by since we were all um, allowed back out onto the uh, the street and into civilization um, but I certainly do have and have had concern with the dating community for a really long time um, in regards to mental health. And I think definitely the lockdowns opened my eyes to uh, the circumstances of people's mental health uh, a lot more than what it had before the lockdowns. And I really just wanted to explain why. For me, mental health is a really important factor, especially in the dating industry and why essentially I have started this channel to try and make sure that guys' mental health is always considered um, as like one of the most important factors, um, especially if they are thinking about working on their dating lives. So um, with a lot of guys, when they realize their struggles with meeting women or having or forming relationships or, or having girlfriends um, they get drawn certainly into the uh, the idea of what the community offers which is you know you can certainly develop your confidence and you can then learn to meet and attract women and in all sorts of environments and, and situations and uh, you can then have the date in life that you want um, but the uh, the thing, though, is that has happened uh, a lot over the years, and maybe you've spotted it yourself, but um, there's certainly a lot of the promotion that meeting women and dating women is going to solve all your problems. And as someone who has worked in the industry for 14 years, and, and I know I emphasize it a lot in, in a lot of my videos, but I, I just want to kind of emphasize that Meeting women and dating women is not going to solve your problems. Uh, in fact, it's going to be more of a distraction for you than anything. And uh, I think a lot of guys and they get really caught up in the idea of this and then they can neglect other areas of their lives. Um, and then they can lose touch with their friends, their families, lose their careers and stuff. But also they can lose touch with reality as well. Um, bear in mind that you are... Uh, doing something that is against the social norm or guys are going out and doing something that's against the social norm and if you keep going against what society is doing so much then those lines are going to be blurred on what is acceptable and what isn't acceptable for what you should be doing um, as a person and um, the thing though is that this then draws in this industry draws in a lot of vulnerable guys and um this is where you know if the coaches don't tend to look after their clients in the right kind of way or act as a role model for them um then guys can end up being even more lost than when they before they even actually came into it um and what guys i don't think realize as well and certainly i'm not going to give any names here but you know, a lot of coaches um, behind the scenes or in fact, everyone who comes into the dating community, they've all got their own personal problems. And it's easy to uh, forget that even, you know, when you're looking at coaches who are showing this elegant lifestyle that they're living. Um, and I want to make it clear that not always these coaches are the best role models. Um, a lot of them have their own personal problems. Um, a lot of them I have had to either counsel um, where they've got very unhappy and very depressive lives because um, they haven't got anything else going for themselves except for just meeting women. Like this does tend to fill that void um, of uh, allowing them to just sort of stay relevant um, in their, their lives. Um, a lot of them can certainly and have suffered from different levels of addiction such as like drinking, uh, drugs, even sex as well. 
which allow which has caused them to just sort of struggle to form relationships and again stay in touch with people who should be part of their lives um anyway and sadly as well i i do know of at least three people um who have committed suicide and even more in this industry who have self-harmed uh and uh overdosed and whatnot as well uh and and certainly one of those people a lot of people do know of and that was um tom Torero. i mean it was heartbreaking to to hear about him taking his life and even then i would say uh with what happened to him and just hearing about the effects of it for his family and the people around him um was also part of a catalyst um i can honestly say for this channel um, and I also don't want to hear of another suicide um, in this industry. I think three for me is more than enough um, to be aware of. And for a long while, I was kind of thinking like someone really needs to be regulating this industry. This industry needs to make sure that the coaches who are coming along that not only are they the best role models for clients, but they're also in their right state of mind as well for themselves, as well as for the people that they are adopting as clients. And I think really just as time gone, I've, I've thought to myself, well, why can't I be that person to, um, to try and do my very best to regulate it? I have worked in the industry for so long. I have been around and know so many coaches and have, uh, made sure that I've been there for them as much as I possibly could. And, you know, there's no point in the finger with this. Uh, you know, everyone is human. Everyone makes mistakes and has errors and has flaws. But I want to make sure that guys who are looking to work on their dating lives, they aren't neglecting anything else going on in their lives as well. Um, and that they are creating this work-life balance so that, yes, they might be learning to meet women, but... They also are learning to, you know, make friends, uh, uh, work on their physique and their lifestyle, stay in touch with like close friends and family and, uh, you know, and, and just the, the full the full works that you can think of for what would make for having uh, a really attractive lifestyle for yourself. So just as a final message for this, you know, if you are someone who does struggle with uh, mental health issues, or, you know, you are maybe in a dark place. Um, I, I know you probably hear it a lot where people say like, oh, I'm here for you and stuff. But, you know, it's one of the reasons why I have learned and started learning more therapies. So I can really truly help guys to uh, work on their past traumas and that they can, you know, be happy. And and that that's all I want. And honestly, that's what gets me out of bed. Just hearing of at least good stories rather than ones where people are taking their own lives or self-harming or have gone absolutely crazy and nuts from just over approaching and and thinking that meeting women is going to solve all of their problems so um i i do hope that at least with this video you can heed my uh my advice and um and that's just take care of your mental health um whether you choose to work with a coach or a therapist um again someone like me is here for you where I, you know, I can help with the life coaching, hold you accountable on things as well as I've also trained in something called eye movement therapy, where I can help to remove past negative memories and traumas and detach your feelings from them. So, you know, you aren't going to be stuck with your limiting beliefs, especially ones that maybe you did feel whilst you were in isolation or where you, do feel like that you are struggling to connect with people because of you've maybe had too many rejections or um, you've been held back in some way in life um, from having fears or phobias of things as well. So um, if you can do please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content, not just for dating anxiety stuff, but certainly advice that is going to help you with your mental health. I've got so many interesting and unique videos that I am really looking forward to putting out that is going to help people. But ultimately, I do want you to look after your mental health and that really should be priority number one. Don't fall into the trap in thinking that, you know, just meeting women is going to solve your problems because it isn't. 
I want you to be happy. And that means balancing meeting women with doing other things as well. So I would love to just hear your thoughts on this. If you want to leave any comments below, again, subscribe and do please take care of yourself and subscribe to my channel for more content that will help you with your anxiety and confidence and hopefully your mental health too.